Hello and welcome to Minicom Tutorials. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a stamp to a PDF document using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Now, for all viewers and subscribers of Minicom Tutorials, you would bear with me that I've already made a video on how to digitally sign a PDF document by creating a certificate based signature using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. If you are watching my channel for the first time or if you haven't had opportunity to watch my previous tutorials on uh, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, please look right below in the description box of this particular video and you would find links to my previous tutorials including like I said how to digitally sign a PDF document using a certificate based um, Adobe Acrobat Reader DC signature. For this particular tutorial, I repeat again, we're going to look at simply how to add a stamp to a PDF document using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Now, these stamps come in four categories. It could be what we like uh, a dynamic stamp. We're going to look at the details anyway, a sign here stamp or even a standard business stamp or even um, you can customize your own stamp okay you can for instance use powerpoint and create your own stamp and then you just use one powerpoint slide create a stamp okay design your stamp the way you want it to be save the slide as a pdf file or as a png file as a picture file and you can actually use this custom stamp to stamp your pdf documents so i'm going to show you how you can use any of these four categories of stamps in just a few minutes so without much ado, I have a certain PDF document here that I'm calling protocol one. Okay. So I simply open it using Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. So I right click on it and I click on open with Adobe Acrobat Reader DC since Adobe Acrobat Reader DC is not my default PDF reader. So I have to do this. I have to open it with Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Okay, and after opening it, you realize that it has the, the I mean, because my, my PC screen is very wide, the, okay, it's asking me, do I want to use Adobe Acrobat Reader as my default uh, PDF reader? I say no, unless I want to use it. And then the size of my, because my PC screen is very wide, it's the, it has zoomed the PDF document. So I can reduce it by clicking on my nose and put the size at its optimum. That's 100% so that I can have a clear view of my PDF document. So this is a protocol, okay? Let's assume this is a steady protocol. And I would like to stamp this document and indicate that, you know what, this particular protocol has been reviewed or this particular protocol has been revised or whatever that I may want to put it. I may want the, for instance, the investigator to sign the steady a clinical investigator to sign this particular uh, clinical research protocol so i have to say to have to insert a stamp indicating sign here you know all these are possibilities so stamps are very very important it's just like the traditional rubber stamp that we use you know but now we will do it digitally with the help of what adobe acrobat reader dc which means before you even print your document your document is already stamped and the fellow can insert his signature you don't have to use ink again thanks to adobe stamps all right so to stamp a document is very simple like i said we have four categories before i even show you all these four categories i'm going to give you a brief introduction to adobe stamps according to adobe's website itself so you have a brief understanding of um, all these four categories of stamps so if I, in order to instead a stamp or to learn more about Adobe stamps, simply come and click on tools. Okay. When you click on tools, we have stamp stamp over here. Now, when I, if I should click on this drop down list, I can either open the different categories of stamps straight away, which I just did. Okay. So I click on tools and I click on open and it opened the stamp. So we have the stamp toolbar displayed here. And over here we have, if I should click over here, we have the trace stamps, the, the first tray category that I mentioned, dynamic stamps, sign here stamps, standard business stamps, and 
over here we have what we call the um, the custom stamps which consists of creating your own stamp saving it on your pc and importing it as either a pdf or a picture file that's an image file before we look at the details of each and every one of these stamps let's go back to tools again click on tools and now come and click on the drop down menu and then click on what learn more okay if you click on learn more adobe is actually going to you know it takes us to the adobe website as you can see and then you can at your own free time you can read more about all these categories of stamps and how to insert them in case just uh, actually inserting them is not a problem because i'm going to show you in this video <laughs> but at your own free time you can read here to learn more about these four categories of stamps so they are saying that just like traditional uh, rubber stamps you can apply a stamp a stamp sorry to a pdf in much the same way you apply a rubber stamp to a paper document you know and you can choose from a list of predefined stamps this list of predefined stamps include dynamic stamps uh, sign here stamps or even business standard business stamps i'm going to show you what each and every one of them comprises of and then you can also create your own custom stamps like i said they are saying that dynamic stamps obtain information from your pc and from the identity panel of the preferences dialog box so i'll actually show you how to to create your identity within your adobe preferences because this would actually help in a case where you are inserting a dynamic stamp the dynamic stamp simply comes with date and then an instruction for instance approved by or let's say received by so if i want to say received by then i have to indicate the name of the person that is receiving so which means you have to create your identity within the adobe preferences before it can actually use the appropriate identity and it also comes with dynamic stamps also come with let's say dates and time so which means you must make sure your pc time and date are accurate we can also insert sign here stamp sign here stamp simply consists of in inserting a watermark that would say instruct the reader please sign here then he puts he amends his signature there we also have standard business stamps like uh, where you can say okay this particular document is just a draft whatever we have different types of standard business stamps and finally we can also insert what i, I told you earlier on a custom stamp a custom stamp is simply a picture that's an image of your stamp or even a, 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 your stamp in the form of a pdf document you can simply import it into your um, adobe acrobat reader dc and use this newly imported stamp to stamp your document the advantage is that it allows you to customize your your, your stamp to suit your own preferences and i told you a quick way to design your stamp would be what using powerpoint just have one slide design your stamp the way you want it to appear save it on your desktop in the form of a pdf file or a picture file and I'll show you how you can insert be it a picture uh, stamp or a PDF stamp a PDF customized stamp or a picture or an image comes customized stamp for that matter now let's start I've talked for too long and now we will get to business so I'm on my uh, PDF document here just click on in time you click on another toolbar or whatever you want to come back to your document look for the title of your document for me it's protocol one is over here once i click on it it brings us back home okay and currently i have opened my um adobe stamps toolbar which is displayed here if i want to close it i can simply click here and close it and it's gone if i want to display again the timestamp toolbar sorry i said the timestamp the adobe uh, stamp toolbar simply come and click on tools come back here and click on the drop down menu i could either open it and click on learn or click on learn more and it will take us to the website where we read more about it if i want to open then I just click on open 
where you could just open straight here click on open and you have your toolbar displayed here now let's start first of all with a dynamic stamp to insert a dynamic stamp is very simple first of all make sure you create your identity because it might need your identity either your organization name for instance if i want to say um we will if i want to say let's say that this particular document is um is confidential then i have to put first of all my the, the name of my organization or company followed by the notice that the document is all confidential so all these details you have to first of all edit them within your identity um whatever you have to edit your identity within the the adobe preferences so to do that how do we let me show you you have to simply come and click on edit first of all edit get down you find preferences click on preferences and over here you have what several steps here you, you can now come and click on identity when you click on identity you have what your login name this is for my adobe acrobat reader dc account or sometimes your login name could be your pizza username but most importantly you change your what your name here because if i'm saying this document is reviewed by then it has to indicate the document is reviewed by who so initially i have already done this even though this i've already created my identity even though here was supposed to be they, you wouldn't have seen anything here so but i will try to redo it just to show you so i'll create my identity by typing let's say menunkun okay so re let's say the name of i'm creating a certificate that will be used throughout the process so i'll call it menunkun okay so i'll say menunkun let's say menunkun mph okay master of public health graduate or whatever because you have to put if i were a doctor then i would have said dr menunkun okay and then uh, title let's just call it stamps but i could change it if i want organization let's say menunkun tutorials that's okay um clinical operations units i'm just inventing things as if i were a cro so let's just say clinical operations that's the, uh, the, the the organization unit the organization name is minicum tutorials and now finally you can put your email address here so let's say minicum tutorials at gmail.com and i just hit okay okay once i hit ok it means my identity has been created and now to insert a uh, dynamic stamps is very simple come and click on stamps here okay i showed you how to close and open the stamps toolbar so let's close it once again i've already shown you how to create your identity within your adobe preferences now let's assume that we want to uh, use, uh, stamp our documents so we simply come and click on tools come and click on open stamps and you have your stamps toolbar displayed here now that the stamps toolbar has been displayed the, the advantage is that when you create your identity even if i should close adobe anytime i open it the identity that i created will be will remain so which means when i'm to insert a, a stamp it will simply use the identity that i created so if i should click on stamp here i have our dynamic stamps and for instance let's look at dynamic stamps if i want to say revised then you say revised it gives you the date and the, the time and the date which means your pc must be accurate the pc time and date must be accurate if you want to say re reviewed reviewed by who so that's why i had to create the identity so if i just select reviewed okay it, let's select select review now you notice that when i selected reviewed what did it say it said reviewed by minukun mph mph means master of public health graduate i could have kept dr minukun if i were a doctor 
and at what time it has indicated the time and the date this is where why is i said i had to first of all create my identity now let's so now i'm done with my um dynamic stamping if that is just the only thing that i want to put then i'm through to go i'll simply save this document by clicking on save and i can print it and i'm okay but if I want to add some more other stamps, which is actually what I'm going to do, because we are not just going to look at a dynamic stamp, we also look at sign here stamps and final, uh, standard business stamps. And finally, I will show you how to even what add a custom stamp in the form of a picture, an image file, or a PDF file. Now, let's move on to the next type of stamp. So click on the stamp uh, menu here. And then the arrow here and you have now we look at the second type of stamps okay which is dynamic stamps so the dynamic stamps here sorry i said dynamic stamps. the second is the sign here stamp the sign here stamp is simply a watermark that you insert to tell the reader that please sign here you know or put your signature here or whatever or initials here so it depends on what whichever one that you want to use okay so in my case i'll pick let's say sign here so just write sign here let's put so this is actually my document as you can see there this is a protocol but this is the first page that i'm designing and with the help of this uh adobe stamps i can actually design the first page of my my steady protocol okay so i'm for instance, I'm telling the, the clinical investigator to sign somewhere here. So, and what, how do I do that? I've just indicated sign here. But you notice that if I should say sign here, he'll just sign in the space. Okay. But if I want him to put, I can also insert a watermark that will let him sign, let's say, signed by his name and then the date. I could also do that. So, what I've just inserted is a watermark using the sign here uh, tool. The sign here stamp tool so i use sign here i click on this category and i selected sign here now let's move on to the next the third category which is the uh, sorry the, the 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 standard business stamps these include these are the pre-existing standard business stamps they include what approved not approved draft final completed confidential several of them okay and you you notice that sign here stamps as well as business stamp do not require anything regarding your identity or even time and date however dynamic stamp like reviewed you would need the identity reviewed by the time and the date you see so over here if i want to say this document is confidential then i just select confidential okay now i can place it somewhere here on top so anybody who picks a document would know that this document is a confidential document. I've stamped indicating that it's confidential. And now let's add another um, another standard business stamp like draft. Let's assume I want to tell people reading the document that this is a drafted document. So I can just place it somewhere here. And one important thing you should note is that should you make a mistake, maybe you have placed the stamp. Sorry, you have maybe you have placed the stamp at a place that you don't like. You can't uh, displace it by simply clicking on it this way, and then you click and hold, left click and hold, and you can drag it anywhere you want to place it. So I will place it somewhere here. I've just after the title indicating that this is a draft, and I can actually decrease the size of it so I can decrease it this way. okay perfect so i'm actually telling this is a drafted uh, clinical research protocol and uh, it has been reviewed by minukun an mph holder at this particular date and time and then i would also like to maybe instruct the investigator to sign somewhere here i have index inserted the sign here what uh, sorry the sign here stamp but i will need another I'll customize, I'll need a custom stamp that will tell him signed by and then under the date of the signing. So how do we create a custom uh, stamp? That is the last category, the fourth category actually. 
So to create a custom stamp, please make sure that you have your custom stamp existing in the form of an image as a PNG for instance or JPG or whatever file, image file. And secondly, you could also have your, your custom um, stamp in the form of a PDF file. I told you you can do either of these using a PowerPoint slide, just a single slide, design your, your stamp the way you like it, save it on the desktop and you are true to go. So in my case, I have my stamps on a desktop. Okay, I will show you. These are the stamps. This is the this one. This particular one here is a PDF format. And this one here is the image format. So if I want to use any of them, I don't have to use both. It will not even make sense importing the two. But it's just to tell you that your custom stamp should take one of these formats, either PDF or a picture format. So oh, that's an image. So let me show you the first one. The first one consists of importing a, an image, uh, whatever, an image stamp. Okay. If you have your stamp in the form of an image, so let me show you how you can do that one. First of all, open your image, double click on it and open it. After you have opened it, depending on the kind of picture reader that you are using, there are different ways of copying the image okay so if you right click on it right click on the image you find copy just simply copy it now after you have copied the image after you open it you right click on it and copy it to your whatever your clipboard or whatever so you right click on it click on copy now after this come to your adobe acrobat reader dc and then you come and click on here stamp by once again sorry i say stamp by stamp that you click on the drop down menu and then you'll find paste clipboard image as what stamp tool so if you click on it you realize that my keza or my mouse simply turned into what this the <laughs> like this stamp logo and it's ready to stamp so i can just stamp here you know and i can reduce it it's just click on it and then you can reduce the size okay increase it a bit so we place it somewhere here okay instructing the the reader or the investigator to sign here and then put the date of signing so you see that this is my research protocol very lengthy document and thanks to Adobe Stamps, I have been able to design the the, first, the, the, the the cover page of it in a very nice manner. Now, let me show you the final step in case you have your stamp uh, file in the form of your custom stamp file in the form of a PDF document. I'll show you how to do that one too. So let's delete this one. Okay. And if I should open this, let me open the PDF, the custom one that I have here. I told you it's a PDF document, so let me open it. You see it. It's the same thing. You see it. It's the same thing, but this is a PDF document. Now, to do to import a PDF document as a as a, a stamp as a stamp, then let me show you how you can do that. Simply come to your Adobe, come and click on uh, custom stamps over here and then you click on create a stamp. Now when you click on create, click on browse, go to your desktop and then simply select the particular, so for me it's called my custom stamp PDF. Simply select it and then over here you have to, you realize that you can only import uh, or create custom stamps that are in PDF format. That's why I earlier on showed you how to create a custom um, stamp that is in image format by simply clicking on the, I showed you that earlier on. So over here, simply select your PDF file and then click on open. Now, notice that when I click on open, it looks something like this. And then you simply hit OK. When you hit OK, it will ask you to select the category. 
in which category do you want to put this particular stamp so let me say i'll put it under sign here stamp for instance because i'm saying the pill she should sign here and so i'll put it under sign here and let's change the name to sign here stamp You could put any name okay and then just hit okay now after i've hit okay the pdf document or stamp will be will be inserted here so when i come to the stamp it will be it will be added to my predefined stamps because i actually added to it what uh, sign here stamps category so if i should come and click on the drop down menu again and come to sign here you see my my sign here i have it here okay the pdf that i've just added is now here i can simply click it and you see that it's very huge because it's actually covering the whole powerpoint slide saved as a pdf file so just click click somewhere and then you minimize it the size so you simply click on it and then you Try to reduce it click and hold drag down to reduce it a bit okay come to the edge this way reduce it and you are true to go place it where you want to place it and normally we are good okay and after you have done this you simply save your document so make sure you save it so you click on save here the save button and then you put it for instance on my computer i'll place it on the desktop and i'll call it um stamped protocol one stamped protocol one place it on the desktop and click save and now my stamp document it has been saved properly let's open it and see what it is stamped protocol one is over here let me double click on it just to ensure that all these stuffs have been added and perfectly we have it here sorry we have our stamped protocol one here thank you so much for watching and i hope you enjoyed this video please subscribe